everybody, how you doing? Uh, we're going to work on Hey Joe today for acoustic guitar. So I've kind of changed some of the licks and things to make it fit for acoustic. My name is Doug Edgel and I, I got fingersonthefrets.com as my website. So if you want to follow the link below, it says tabs. It's a four page um, arrangement I've come up with. And uh, each time it goes around through the tune, I, tr I try to add some different things. So uh, the chords are going to be um, E. I'm sorry, it starts off with that lick, but we're going to do that in a second. If, if you wanted to just strum this in a very basic way, C, G, D, A, E, and then E again. And that's pretty much the, the, the whole arrangement, okay? So that would be your basic... So if you, if you were just a beginner or something, you could just go, Hey Joe, C, G, D, A, E. What I did with the rhythm is kind of like a one and two and a three and four and a. So I'm thinking bass note, strum, eighth notes, one and two and a. So it's kind of like a down, 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 up. So this is going to be more like the intermediate slash standard way to play the rhythm of the song. So if you got a C chord, you see what I mean? So one and two and a three and four. Okay, so you can get through it that way if you didn't have the facility to do the licks. The main lick, um, the way I'm playing for acoustic, is the beginning part. It goes like this. So it's an E blues lick. You get the D sliding up to an E, third fret to fifth fret, with the open E ringing. And then I put the first finger down here. Then you can take the second finger on the B note, slide it down to the A, pull it off. And then I put my third finger here because I'm going to go right into an E chord. So it's like one and uh, three and four E and one. And then he does these really neat chords here that um, they're kind of like power chords with the fifth of the chord below, but I'm going to think of it like that. So you've got bar here with this, uh, the 4th fret, 4th fret, 6th fret, sliding it into the 5th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, and then to the 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret. So again, I'll do that one more time. Then he's got this little. Now again, this is all arranged for acoustic guitar. If you're going to be playing by yourself, or you know, just in an acoustic style uh, setting. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's the, the the lick getting into it. And that's the whole really cool intro. C with that rhythm we talked about, G to D, A. Now here, I'm putting a little fill in instead of just going, I went. So I'm gonna slide from the third fret to the fourth fret and then hit an open D. Now when we do the E bit at the end of this uh, turn, it's gonna be E. So I'm going to hit the E, then the chord, then I'm going to slide into the second fret, open fourth string, slide into the second fret again, then hit these two, fourth and third together. So it sounds like... Then the... Then you can do that again, C, G, D,
Okay, you can do that several different times through, and that would be enough if you really, you know, wanted to just do that much. Um, I did another version, so they, there's sort of like four or five different ways, and I kept progressing it in difficulty as the thing went on. So over here on, on measure 16, if you wanted to go get the uh, tabs, you could download that. I'm going to do the C chord like this. And I'm going to do one and two. And then the G chord like this, I'm going to go one, three and a four E and a. Oh, it's just variations. And then the little Hendrixy style lick from a D shape, if you go to this next caged position shape, which would be a G shape of a D chord, he did that a lot. So this would be your A form. That's the, uh, I'm sorry, A form of a D chord, G form of a D chord, but he would, go, he would do this. That kind of a thing. And that's really, you're thinking a G shape, a G form, uh, like that, of a D chord, but he would do. And then down to the A. So I'll do that bit again. This is just another iteration of it, a different variation. So one more time. C. When you do that kind of a Hendrixy lick, you have to slide into this note, which would be your F sharp, and then you're going to bar these two strings, fourth and third. You're going to come back to it. So it's it's almost like you're playing this third string the whole time, and it kind of creates that real uh, interesting chord sound, you know, that he always did. I just made that up at the end there, so it's A, little percussive, and then the A, and then a bend on the G, just to make it sound kind of nice. Now you'll know at the end of the song, they do that really famous riff. So what you're doing is still following the same um, progression, but you're just going to approach the note. So you start on the C, then you approach the G, with four chromatic notes from below. E, F, F sharp, G. So C chord, and then chromatic approach up to the G. Then you start on a B note, and you're gonna chromatically approach the D. And then you're gonna chromatically approach the A from an F sharp. It becomes a nice finger exercise, too. And you're gonna do the same thing and approach the E. So it's a C sharp, D, uh, D sharp and then E. Now when I get to that one I use my second finger because I'm going to go into an E7 sharp 9 so it's like this. Which is kind of a nice little thing again just making it up making it sound cool. And that would be on this part, um, well, kind of cut off on my sheet there, but again, if you, there's four pages in it, it's all tabbed out for you. So you can kind of get that a little easier than just following a video, I hope. <laughs> so anyway, here's the uh, chromatic riff at the end. So it's kind of a nice rhythm there with it putting a couple percussives in there. Um, and that kind of, that's kind of it. I just made up different uh, variations f uh, throughout the tune as you're playing it and singing it. It just, you can make it, you can add in these little riffs at any time you want, you know. So uh, that's Hey Joe from Jimi Hendrix, the acoustic style version. Um, this is Doug Edge, Fingers on the Frets. Please subscribe, Go to the Patreon page now and all that stuff. I really appreciate everybody watching the videos. Take care of yourself.